Tech organizers are a great way to keep your tech organized and protected. Grams28 sent me three from their collection in three different sizes, whether you want to keep it minimal with just the essentials or go big and use these as a camera bag with some bigger accessories. These have a sleek look with high quality materials and are by far the most premium feeling organizers I've looked at here on the channel. So we'll take a look at each one and I'll show you what I've got inside. My name is Jack, I make videos about all things tech. Grams28 did send me these for free to review, but this video is not sponsored by them. And as always, there are links to everything down below in the description. So here we've got the 131 Essential Pouch, the 132 Essential Case Pro, and the 133 Essential Case Max from Grams28. These have a few differences internally with the pocket arrangements, and I'll show you what I've got inside and how you might want to use each one. But first we'll talk a bit about the materials. All three organizers are handcrafted from high quality leather sourced from tanneries in Gruppo Mastrotto in Italy. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they're made in the town of Arzignano. I don't speak Italian, so if you do, have me out in the comments below. The full grain pebbled leather looks amazing. The way that the textures just catch in the light, the leather feels really soft, very supple, and they certainly feel high quality and made to last. They sit well and they hold their shape with high quality stitching and finishes. These are some of the best looking organizers I've used. And at first they kind of look like, I don't know, like a high-end wash bag or something, but I actually really like the leather look. It's very much a less is more design, and in black they look really classy. And if you're wondering what these numbers are, well, this is pretty cool. Gram28 do this with all of their products. The 10 numbers are divided into three sets and debossed in white on each product. From left to right, each set of numbers corresponds to the style number, the material provider, the material type, and the craftsman behind each design. All three feature waterproof zippers, each with two zippers and big tags, so they're easy to open and get to your tech. And I particularly like how these come together when closed. They look almost seamless for a clean look and finish. You can use them as an insert inside a larger bag or backpack to keep things organized. Or on the back, they all have these metal rings for attaching the included strap, which itself comes with these very nice chunky metal clips. They work as wearable standalone bags for your tech essentials, and I am a big fan of Sling, so I'm glad that they've done this. The Maxim Pro feature a big carry handle up top, which sits nice and flush when it's not in use, and another smaller handle on the sides. Now, you can use these however you want with the different pockets and pouches in each one, but I've kind of separated them into three different use cases. We've got the slimline pouch for the absolute essential tech, while also being the most wearable, the larger Pro for carrying those extra bits, and the even larger Max, which is big enough to hold a mirrorless camera and lens. So let's start with the pouch and we will work our way up. At 20 by 11 by four and a half centimeters, this is great for those minimal carries for the most essential tech. Opening up the double zippers, I've got a few things in here. In this main space, the largest pocket, I've got some car keys. This is my wallet. It's the Pilot Wallet by Andar in Cameltan. It has this little switch to fan your cards out. This is also covered in full grain leather and wrapped around an aluminum case, which is RFID protected. In this pouch at the back, I've got my iPhone 15 Pro Max, plenty of space for a large smartphone like this. You'll notice this earthy brown inner lining as well, really nice color, love it. If you are wearing this as a sling when traveling, then this section would be a great spot to keep a passport when flying. Up here, there is a pen holder for your favorite pen, or in this case, an Apple Pencil for the iPad. Then there's two medium-sized pouches here in black, in here, I've got my AirPods Pro. I don't go anywhere without them. I actually just swapped over the case to the USB-C version. I basically moved everything over to USB-C now, so one cable for everything. Then in here, this is my Anchormag Goat 622. This is my favorite MagSafe battery for a top-up on the go. It saved me a bunch of times, and it has a C port as well, so you can charge out to other devices. Then here, we've got an internal zip pocket, and in here, I've put an AirTag to keep track of the pouch and a USB-C cable, always useful to have, and this is the braided USB-C cable that came with my 15 Pro Max. And here's a better look inside, now it's empty, it has a good amount of pockets inside in different sizes. It is the most wearable of the three, I do like to use it as a sling, and it's my new go-to when I want something that's a bit more stylish and a bit more dressy. Now, if you like things to match, then Grams28 also just make phone cases for the most recent iPhones and the AirPods Pro. The one-to-one -one phone case for the 15 Pro Max comes in a different type of leather to the pebbled look on the organizers. This is called Snowflake or Pueblo leather, and it has more of a sort of like a rough matte texture look, which will buff out over time, revealing a glossier surface. It covers all the buttons and sides, and it's MagSafe compatible, and it comes with this sweet little pouch that you can use again for some sunglasses or other little bits. The 112 case for the AirPods Pro comes in a choice of snowflake or a pebbled leather finish, 
The AirPods slot in with cutouts for the port and speakers on the bottom and the lanyard attachment on the side. And for some extra security, this is the one, two, three wrist strap. It comes with an attachment for using with the phone case, or you can just use it as like a key strap or attach it to the organizers themselves. However you wanna use it, it is thick, durable, with a strong metal clasp. And these all come in black, blue, green, and brown. Next up, the 132 Essential Case Pro. This is larger at 25 by 15 and a half by seven centimeters. This has even more space for your tech with two big compartments. This one at the back has an extra divider, which is perfect to slip your phone into. Then we have three more black pockets. I've got the AirPods in here. In the middle one, this is a CMAG cable by MagTame. It has magnets running through it, so it always stays stuck together like this with a nice flat profile. If you don't like messy cables, then you'll love this. Then here I've got a Samsung SSD. This is the T7. It is a two terabyte drive. And I use this when I'm shooting in the new ProBuzz Log format on the 15 Pros, which can eat through a ton of internal storage space pretty quickly, so an external drive is a must. Over on the other side, this is the Backbone controller. This is pretty cool. They make a Lightning and a USB-C version. Your phone slides into the middle and it basically turns your phone into a good handheld portable console. You have physical buttons and triggers for games that support game pads, much better than touchscreen controls, and yeah, nice when you've got some downtime. And it is licensed by PlayStation, so it works with remote play and you can stream your PS5 games to it. So really cool accessory. Or instead you could keep in here something like the Insta360 Flow. This is a compact gimbal for your phone that keeps everything smooth and steady when recording. You can pull some pretty crazy moves with it and it has a bunch of tracking features in the app if you're recording yourself. This one has a pen holder as well up top and then two more black pockets in the front. You could keep an action camera in here. This is the Insta360 GO 3. It has a flip out screen so you can see yourself when recording. In fact, the whole camera comes out of the pod so you can wear this or mount it somewhere. It's a super versatile little camera. Or you could keep something a bit bigger. This is the X3. This uses two cameras, one on either side to stitch together a 360 degree video. I took this on a trip last year and it's pretty cool. It captures everything around you and then you can choose what to frame up on after the fact. It even does some like fancy stuff to remove the selfie stick from the video. So it just kind of looks like it's floating there. It's really cool. And there is space in the Case Pro to fit the stick and the bullet time handle, which you can use for some really cool slow-mo shots. This whole case works really well for those bits of tech that you might want to take with you on trips. In the other pocket, there's ample space for a power bank, something small like the Anker 533 or bigger like the 130 watt Anker Prime. This outputs up to 65 watts from each port for some fast charging. Or a multi-charger. This is the 120 watt Anker 737, the UK version. Our plugs are pretty chunky, but it fits in here just fine. Then one last section, there is a zipped pocket here, complete with three pouches. In the middle one, this is the Satechi USB-C Apple Watch charger, useful for charging your watch on the go. Then the other two pockets are smaller. These are good for SD cards or the perfect place to store an AirTag. And here's a good look inside, now it's empty, plenty of storage for a variety of tech on the go. Now I don't have an iPad mini, but Ground 28 say that one will fit in here. Or you could fit in a Nintendo Switch if you remove the controllers. And you should be able to fit a medium sized pair of folding headphones. So you've got a lot of options for usage. And then we have the last one in the collection, the 133 Max. And this is, it's a big boy, it's the largest in the collection, measuring in at 25 by 16 and a half by 10 and a half centimeters. This has a huge main compartment, which makes it a great option for photographers wanting to carry some larger accessories. There's enough space in here for a mirrorless camera. This is the Sony a7 III. The camera that I use for all of my YouTube videos, except for these shots right here, because I had to switch to the iPhone to capture this. And then here I've got the Sony 20 millimeter f1.8. This is the largest prime lens that I own, and it fits just fine. I don't actually own any zoom lenses. I know I need to sort my life out, but I reckon you could fit a decent size zoom in here. That said, you're probably only gonna fit the one in here, unless you've got a smaller camera body with like a, a crop sensor, or maybe like a film camera or something. Then to the side, this is the new DJI Mic 2. The two mics come in this case with the receiver, and it's a nice little compact wireless mic system. Then there was still some space in here, so again, this is the 130 watt Anker Prime for some portable power. The two dividers are removable, so you could just have one giant space in the middle, or stick them exactly wherever you need them. Then there's more space here at the back, but I will say that if you are keeping a camera and a lens in the main compartment, you're only really gonna fit some thinner items in these pockets to be able to properly close the case. So here I've got a four terabyte SanDisk SSD. 
and I use these as editing drives, so they hold all my footage. Then on the other side, a CMAG cable by MagTame. You could keep some NDs or some other filters in here instead. Then in this zip pocket, this one is for even slimmer items. I've got here a Moment lens pen, and then there's three more smaller pouches, perfect for some SD card storage and an AirTag. As with the others, it comes with a strap so you can wear it crossbody, but bear in mind the Max is a bit of a big boy, so it's not gonna sit as close to the body as the others. Links to these plus all of the accessories are in the description. I'm really impressed by this collection from Gram28. It offers organization and protection for your tech in three distinct sizes for different use cases. While using top quality materials and looking pretty swish, pretty stylish. Of the three, I would say that the Pro is the best suited for most people. It has a good balance of storage size and versatility and plenty of pockets in different sizes for different types of tech. The pouch is my favorite for wearability. It holds all of the essentials in a sleek slimline design. And then the Max, which is like the size of my head, is the best for those bulky items with its large compartment space. There's no doubt these look and feel amazing with the sleek high quality premium leather, but with premium materials comes a premium price. The pouch is £189, the Pro is £269, and the Max is £319. These are not cheap, but that said, full grain leather like this can be expected to last around 20 to 30 years with good care, so you're not going to be throwing this out after a couple of years. And by far, they're the best looking organizers I've used. They have a bit of an executive feel. You could totally use this in a work environment. And you know what? They'll only get better over time as they develop their own unique patina and character. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, that really helps the channel out, and subscribe and hit the bell to see more tech videos from me. I'm almost at 20k subscribers, so I'd really appreciate your help. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.